as a beginner an average or intermediate level moving towards the advanced stage of pool there is just some aspects of the game that really eludes us we never get the time to put the practice in we never truly understand some of the things that the pros actually do on the table and so of course my aim and focus in this particular tutorial today is to really bring your kick game to another level hey guys what's up everyone welcome or welcome back again to another video tutorial from the apex predator billiards training club my name is apex elenio your aspiring professional pool player and pool instructor now before we actually get into the tutorial please go ahead and hit the subscribe button below turn on your post notification bell leave some positive questions and comments and of course do not forget to share this out to your pool community please do check out the other tutorial videos that are available on my channel of course i have a couple of videos on one rail kick systems you will see the thumbnail flashing on the screen and you will also see a card that is pinned in the description box and also in the comments for you so check out those tutorial videos guys they are very correlated to this one and of course let's just advance our game to the next level let's become a pro by thinking like the pro and calculating like the pro let's jump right into today's level. as i had mentioned in my previous tutorial and many other tutorials before this one this aspect of the game that i've been teaching you over the past couple of years that i've shown you many system has been a part of the game that has eluded many of us whether we are at the beginners level the intermediate level or the advanced level there are many many systems out there but which system is consistent which system gives you the most precision and the most accuracy well of course if you have a feel or a knack for kicking then of course i'm not here to change the way how you think or how you do your thing i'm here to give you additional knowledge to which you can add more precision to your game now you would have seen that this aspect of the game has been pioneered by efren batteries and modern players in this modern era of pool has really advanced the skill set even to another level you'd have seen where joshua filler and francesco sanchez ruiz talks a lot about kicking and the kick safe game many other pro players knows how important this is because once you're able to kick with precision and kick with intent you will find yourself a more dangerous player so i'm just here to add some more value to your game now many of what i'm going to be showing you here on screen are things that you would have already have an intuitive feel for but i'm just adding one layer of precision now on the short rail here you'll see where i've numbered my diamonds by increments of 10. so the diamond where the three ball is at is one the second diamond is 20 the third diamond is 30 and the pocket from which i'm aiming from is 40 and the pocket which i'm aiming to is zero now the system works in the opposite as well because from where i'm aiming from can be zero and where i'm aiming to is 40. now the basic math concept of this is you add the value of where you're aiming from to the value of where you're aiming to and divide by two and then you'll get precision accuracy like this demonstration here so i've added zero to 40 and i've divided by two and i got 20. now notice carefully here we're the marker 20 is and where i actually aimed i just aimed in front of 20 and hence why the cue ball would have pocketed the object ball because it's a hanger but you would have hit the object ball on the left side there now whilst that is an acceptable kick you definitely want to keep these type of shots coming off the inside reel because if you kick it too full it will follow and sometimes if you just if you're off by a here you can miss the ball just by a centimeter or so now for my second example here again my object ball is at zero and now my cue ball is at 30. and these are very basic addition systems you add the diamond value that you're aiming from to the diamond value you're heading to and divide the results that you get by two now bear in mind that the object ball value and the cue ball value can vary at times and as we go through this tutorial i will show you exactly how we are doing this now again you'll see here on this freeze frame that here i'm aligning myself i remember that this is a practice session so notice how i'm eyeing up the value 15. now what you're gonna find here in this video that what contributes to quite a few of the close misses that i had was because when you're aiming to a diamond it's far far easier than when you're aiming 
in between a diamond because here if you hit 16 or you hit 13 you can miss on the outside or just miss coming on the inside so here for this example here i aim towards 15 and notice that i pocketed the object ball which is fine but notice that i catch the very outside edge and if you pay close attention on this replay to where the cue ball hit boom that's just in front of 15. now my table plays a little short so what you're gonna find is that most of the time in order to get a full hit or an inside hit on the object ball you're gonna have to aim one diamond increment less than what you had initially calculated now every table plays different if it's a slick cloth you have to test out the system for yourself so i accept that kick the ball went down it didn't scratch all is good now again i'm going to be moving on to my third example here and i'm going to be aiming from diamond 20. and a lot of you guys may be watching now and maybe you now truly understand why is it that they always say angle in angle out for me i feel like angle in angle out or angle of incidence and angle of deflection is a more standard way of kicking but when we talk about precision kicking on a certain type of the kicking on a certain side of the ball then a lot of the times you're going to find here that you don't get accurate results so once again there beautiful kick on that of course you never want something like that to happen to you here i aim at 20 and i aim i aim from 20 pardon me and i aim at 10. now notice where the cue ball hit boom right exactly into the diamond and again as i said it's a good hit but if you're actually in a game and you were to kick a shot like this and it follows all that would be just a whoa okay so we don't want that we want to have a very good idea of how to actually kick this that kind of kick a bit full it came on the inside inside of the rail that i wanted but it just came a little bit too full and with too much speed and full so i'm not satisfied with that obviously i'm going to try that again so now uh, i'm going to be aiming from 20 20 plus 0 is 20 again 20 divided by 2 that's going to be 10 and so pay close attention to where the aiming spot is just again in front just slightly just a here so maybe about nine uh if you're talking about precision 9.5 then you're gonna find here that you can sometimes miss here and you might find it uh impossible like how did you miss that shot if you notice that there is no fancy reaction of the cue ball that simply just a here too much to the left or to the right can cause a miss so that's why i make these videos if i can miss them if the pros can miss them so can you but if you can add one layer of precision just be a little bit more accurate with what we're doing then we're going to get quality results like what you've been seeing but like what you're be uh, you're seeing being displayed here on screen so once again here i just hit just a here in front and again as i said a twist in the arm any movement of the body any little one variable can actually cause you to miss and there i came off a little bit early on the inside reel and pocketed the object ball now these kick shots as i said guys are kick shots that a lot of you guys have a natural intuitive feel for but if you're truly honest with yourself you would have experienced where you have an easy kick shot but still you miss but why of course adding just a layer of precision will not hurt you so for my final example in the addition sex, sex, section or segment of this video i'm going to be kicking at the seven ball there you can see 10 plus zero is 10 10 divided by 2 is 5 and once again on the replay here you can see that i hit just in front of the diamond just a here and these type of kick shots you'll get away with them if you notice that even though i hit in front of the diamond i pocketed the same ball again on the left side you don't really want to pocket these types of shots on the outside or too full as again you would have seen earlier in the previous example where the object ball followed the the cue ball pardon me followed the object ball into the pocket so you definitely want to come off the inside and pocket the object ball sometimes you can even use these shots to play position 
Now, we're going to be moving on to the second aspect of this here. We're going to be kicking from the corner pocket. All shots are with reference to the corner pocket. So basically from the title, you would have seen that we are finding the track lines from the corner pocket to any diamond on the, uh, on the, um, on the table. So we've just completed segment one. We kick from the corner pocket to the corner pocket from the diamonds on the short rail. Now we're going to be kicking from the corner pocket to diamonds on the short rail. And here you can see with the gestures and the calculations going on on screen here that the cue ball value is at 40. The ball that I'm trying to kick at is at 10. If I add 40 to 10, I get 50. And if I divide 50 by two, I got 25. Now, here for this example, you can almost see that I'm not lined up correctly. And you can see that I got down in stroke and I got up because I'm not really feeling it. So, here, I made my first attempt and I came extremely short. That is a really bad kick. Notice how I'm lined up here. Notice where my pointer is. And as the replay goes through, notice here where I hit exactly at 25 now bear in mind earlier when i stated that on my table it plays a here short so you have to adjust for this um the rebound angle playing short on my table some table will play long some table will play short some table will play exact so when you're practicing this practice to shoot at the diamond first and then you'll know if you must shoot a here to the left or to the right of the diamond now, I also mentioned earlier in one of the kicks that I missed that sometimes when you're aiming in between a diamond, it can be very difficult to see. Now, this is an eight foot table. This is an eight foot table. So the kicks are, it's, it's not very far. But when you're playing on a nine foot table, if you miss by just a here, there you can see again, I aim exactly towards 25 and I came a bit short. So with this information and this knowledge, this is how now going forward into the future, I can literally make more kick shots because now I understand that my table plays a here short. So for most of my kick shots, if I'm going to be successful, you're going to find here that a lot of the times I'm going to be aiming just in front of the diamond. Now bear in mind guys that we don't have two chances in a match. Once you get the chance to kick at an object ball, whether to make it or to just make contact, you have to do it right the first time. So for the third time there, the third time is a charm. I got a nice full hit there on the three ball. Now, one of the things that I want to remind you guys of is the first fundamental rule of kicking. There are many players who actually kick an object ball with intent to make it. And once you try to do that, like you're trying to kick on a certain side of the ball, then you're going to find a lot of the times that you either sell out or you miss the kick. So the first rule of thumb is kick to make contact and on a good day, you're going to kick and you're going to make these shots. So here, taking a freeze frame there, I'm aiming at diamond 20 and I'm aiming from diamond 40. Now pay attention to that little gap that is between where my marker 40 is and where my shaft is. That little gap also plays an important role in the success of the kick. Now if you add 40 to 20, you're going to get 60 and 60 divided by 2 gives you 30. Now notice again for the success of this shot, I'm going to be aiming just a here in front of the diamond. Look at where the cue ball hit. Boom. Just a here in front. And that's how you're going to get an exact path, the exact trajectory into the object ball. Now what I'm doing here guys, as I'm kicking from the corner pocket to the end reel, or to the short reel is a complete reflection of what I was doing in segment one. Because in segment one, I was kicking from the short reel to the corner. Now I'm kicking from the corner to the short reel. Now in this example, you'll notice that I changed my numbers a little bit because of course, kicking from 40, right? A lot of persons don't really like a lot of the math. So it doesn't work well with them. Here in this freeze frame or in this replay here, you see that I'm aiming from diamond 40, which could be considered as diamond zero and I'm aiming to diamond 10, which could be considered to be diamond 30. And when I add both of those numbers and divide by two, depending on the direction you're coming from, you're still going to end up with the same value here. Now, this is a previous, this is a replay of a previous shot that is very, very similar. The shot I played earlier or the shot I'm playing now is where I'm kicking from the short reel to the corner and the shot I played 
previously to this one is that I'm kicking from the corner to the short rail and you can see that both results are exactly the same so the math works and so I've spoken to a lot of the players that are around me when I try to teach them this system what they are most concerned about is that they're not very good at math but then once they try to kick with feel they often go a bit long or a bit short so all it requires is just a few maybe 20 minutes or so just to get an idea get a feel of the numbers of the diamonds and just put about a couple hours practice in just get a feel get a knack for it here all right now of course guys i'm gonna be ending this part of the video here because it's very condensed as you can see there i'm demonstrating a different type of system and this is a system that i had done on my channel before but I'm going to be advancing it on an 8 foot table and even with more precision and more details. So be sure to hit the subscribe button below, turn on your post notification bell, leave some positive comments and suggestions down below. Let me know some of the systems that you guys are currently using. And of course, do not forget to share this out to your pool communities be sure to follow me on all social media platforms instagram facebook tiktok it's all there all the preview videos are uploaded prior to the one coming here so if you miss the notification you can find me on the other platforms there all the links are pinned in the description box below so guys i'm going to be taking you out of this one and in the next upload which probably should be uploaded within a couple of days or a couple of hours from now then you're going to find here that i'm going to be teaching you the SIDS system all right so until then take care guys and i'll see you in the next tutorial video bye bye